And hi, everybody. This is Storytime Adventure, and I'm really excited today because we have a fun story called If I Built a Car. And so I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm here with my favorite shirt, my favorite toy car, and my favorite toy car collection because I'm thinking that cars are some of the most interesting things. And if you had the chance to design or build your own car, how would you do it? What would you make your car look like? Well, my Volkswagen camper van is one of my favorites because when I was a kid, um, we went, my family went across country and went camping all the way to California in a little Volkswagen camper van. And so those are one of my most favorite kind of cars. And if I were to design something, Probably my design would look a lot like this because you can put a whole lot of things in there and you can go a whole lot of places in just a little car. And I wanted to show you today um, <laughs> my, to my car collection. I've had this for a long time. My kids played with these. Most of them, most of the cars inside were theirs. But whenever I look at this, I find the most interesting cars, the most interesting ideas that people had for designing cars, and they're just little cars. Here's one of my favorites. Check this one out. <laughs> it looks like a wildcat. Don't you think that would really go fast? It really does. And let's see, what else? Oh, I have one in here that, <laughs> it's a race car, and it has logos on it from my favorite candy, Reese's Pieces. So there's all kinds of really creative car designs just in my toy collection box. Let me pull out another one. Oh, here's another one. I must like orange because <laughs> some of my favorite ones are orange. But this one I think is really gonna go fast. It even has some sort of a jet pack on the back. <sighs> so I can really use my imagination when I look at some of these cars and what people have designed. Oh, and here's one that's really, really old because when I was a kid, I got this one in a cereal box, and it's from the Kellogg's company, Rice Krispies. <laughs> so that's, you can tell that's really old. And one of the things I really like to do is play with these cars and open the windows and open the doors and run them around and play with them. And I hope you guys have some sort of a, a toy car collection to play with. And then I like the ones like this because I can do fun things with them. I can, this is a tow truck. I can pretend my cars are broken and tow it around. And, oh, let's see, let's find one more really cool design. And then I'll talk about a game that you can play if you have a couple of cars. Let's see, which one will I pull out? Oh, here it is. Here's my purple, this is one of my favorites. It's got all kinds of striping on it and it kind of looks old and classic, but with all of the design on the side, I think it's going to go really fast. Okay, so here's another game that I like to play with some of my car collection. Put these aside. Every once in a while, I get just a plain old paper towel tube or two. And I like to see if I can run my car all the way through. I can. That one is a little too fat. But I... I've taken two paper towel tubes and I'm going to tape them together. It's a little game that you can play with any toy cars that you have and work with gravity. So what I'm doing is I'm taping my paper towel tubes together just like this. Look at that. <laughs> and now I have a tube that I can run them through and down and watch gravity take action. So here's my famous wildcat car, and there it goes, and out the end. Can you see that? I'll make it go this way, all right. And you've got a game. So there's lots of ways, lots of fun imagination and playing with, with toy cars, and lots of fun games to play. So I'll get that car collection out of the way because I am excited to actually tell this story if I built a car and I want you to think about what kind of a car would you build if you had the chance because you might get a chance someday. So I'm going to turn 
the camera on to the tabletop so you can see the pictures in this story. There's the book. If I Built a Car by Chris Van Dusen. So there's a guy, his name is Jack, and there's his dad, and there's his dog, and this might be part of the car that he designed. Let's find out. Oh, I want to show you the first, um, if I built a car. This is one of my favorite pages because look at all those designs. Somebody was just doing some drawings and there's some really cool looking cars and I haven't seen any of these driving down the road, but you know, somebody was using their imagination and decided that, well, that one might have a few rocket engines on the back. I think that's really cool. Um, so just what kinds of shapes can cars take on? I don't know. If I Built a Car by Chris Van Dusen. Here we go. Oh, this book dedication is pretty cool. This book is dedicated to my mom and my dad who jump started my curiosity, fueled my creativity, and changed my crayons every 3,000 miles. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> All good car words. Here we go. And there is Jack. Jack from the back seat said to his dad, this car is okay, this car is not bad, but it's just a car, nothing great, nothing grand. It's nothing at all like the car I have planned. So Jack's riding in his car with his dad. Oop, there's his dog. <laughs> I like his dog, he's got a really cool looking nose. All right. And I like the colors of the seats. They look all shiny and clean. <laughs> all right, let's see. But that car is nothing at all like the car Jack had planned. Let's see what happens next. Whoa. I'll work through the night to create a design, constantly analyze, tweak, and refine. I'll study jet rockets. I'll look at old planes. Ooh, those are some cool shapes. Ooh, there's an old plane that Jack, that Jack has. <laughs> I'll contemplate buses and zeppelins. Ooh, there's the zeppelin right up there. And trains. I'll make it as smooth and as sleek as an eel. I'll borrow ideas from the Wienermobile. A wiener mobile. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. So sit back and relax. Stay right where you are. It's time to reveal my spectacular car. Whoa, check that out. Look at this. Whoa, that's the shape of a car that I haven't seen. I think those are jet engines right there. Whoa, just sitting in the driveway with Jack and his dad and his dog and his pink flamingo over here. <laughs> well, let's see. You'll see what I've added. A lot of neat things. Flush fender skirts and retractable wings. Wings? Whoa, it must be that. What that is right there. Three headlights up front, four taillights in back, plus two giant fins like our old Cadillac. Have you ever seen any old cars with great big fins on the back? I have, whoa. <laughs> My brand new design will be curvy and round with special jet engines, yeah, that don't make a sound. Boy, that's a trick. Jet engines that don't make a sound? Hmm. I'll paint it bright colors, with accents of chrome and top it all off with a plexiglass dome. Oh, you can sit inside that car and look all different directions around. I like that. Woo! All right. I'll build a safe car, just as safe as I can, because safety is job number one in my plan. It may look like steel <laughs> from afar, and you can't tell but it's actually made of a polymer gel. See, look, he's poking it. Boing, 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 a polymer gel. Have you ever poked something that's kind of jelly? <laughs> kind of springs back. A space age concoction that I just invented, so in a collision, 
my car won't get dented. It simply absorbs what we happen to hit and folks would be fine and safe in the seats where they sit. Okay. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Come with me now and I'll show you inside. Okay, that dome is lifting off, that plexiglass dome. I put in a couch, what? <laughs> look at that, a couch, it's comfy and wide, plus a fireplace, oh, that's back there, a fish tank, what? And here's something cool, the floor will slide open. And look, there's a pool, no way. The dog is going, no way too. <laughs> Whoa, all that's inside the car, that's amazing. Oh, look, there's a bookshelf back there, right there. <laughs> Holy cow. Now, step right this way to the back of the car and note the red button marked Instant Snack Bar. Look, he's pushing the button. <laughs> Instant Snack Bar. See, let's say you were hungry and wanted a treat. Just press that button and instantly good things to eat appear in a flash. And anything that you please, from hazelnut pudding to aerosol cheese. Oh boy, that's my favorite right there, squirt cheese. Oh wait, no, I don't think so. Maybe fries, or a pickle, or watermelon. Oh, a pink cupcake. Oh, that is the tallest burger. I don't even think I could bite that. What do you think? Oh, the dog, look, he's licking his lips. <laughs> he's gonna... Take advantage of that instant snack bar, I think. Okay, oh, hot dogs, of course. Of course, hot dogs in a cookie. All right, let's turn the page. Okay, after you've eaten, you might take a nap. Oh yeah, with all that food, oh, sometimes I get sleepy. And Robert the Robot makes napping a snap. Robert the Robot, what's he gonna do? I've built him right into the back of the chair. Oh, I see. Look, that part is the chair, and that part is the robot. What? He's out of the way, so you won't know he's there, but when you get sleepy and rise from your seat, the chair spins around without missing a beat. Ooh, look at, he's spinning. Robert the robot will take the controls. He's guaranteed not to hit any telephone poles. Well, that's good. <laughs> I see you're impressed with all that's inside. So start up the motor. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, I think Dad and the dog and everybody wants to go for a ride. I think it's kind of exciting that Robert the robot is going to drive. That's going to be fun. You know, I have a little robot here. BB-8. Maybe they're friends, I think. Two robots, Boom. okay. Bye, BB, stay away. Okay, so here we go. Turn the page. Oh, oh my goodness, what's up with this? So they're gonna go for a ride down the street. A car that smells good. Now that's something new. Have you ever smelled car exhaust? It's kind of stinky, isn't it? Yeah, well, this one smells good. But if Jack built a car, <laughs> That's just what he'd do, a car that smells good. Inside the engine, I'll add a machine to capture the odor of burnt gasoline and change it into something more pleasing to noses. Like what? <laughs> How about blueberry muffins and fresh picked roses? Whoa, can you see the car exhaust streaming through the neighborhood? Everybody's going, mmm, blueberry muffins. Mmm. Roses, yay. That's kind of cool. But that lady's hairstyle, um, yeah, she needs a new one. <laughs> Too funny. All right, turn the page. Oh, cool, look where they're going. Now that we're cruising, let's head to the lake. There's no need to panic or slam on the brake. Mark, my car can do something that very few can. The fenders will float like a catamaran. Oh, that's a cool boat with big kind of flotation devices. We're skimming the waves and we're having a ball, but wait, hold your horses, cause that isn't all. Boating is fine, 
till we get the urge to dive underwater. What? The car's gonna go underwater? To dive underwater and then just submerge. Whoa, now that car's underwater. Robert will drive as we burble about. We can see catfish and we can see trout. Swimming around, there's my trout. <laughs> We might even spy a stickleback gar from inside our fabulous waterproof car. Whoa, look at that car go. Oh, I love to look under the water. There's the gar. Oh, there's a fun fishing tackle. And there's some trout. Oh, there's a turtle. Did you see that one? <laughs> this is a great illustration. Oops, some seaweed my fish swimming through all right turn the page underwater car wow okay but last but not least the best feature of all comes down to a button that's shiny and small push it and then in the wink of an eye the car will take off and we'll be up in the sky oh this lady's surprised ah! <laughs> That guy dropped his pipe. The dogs, surprise. There goes the lemonade flying all over the lady. Oh, and there's some fish flying over here. Whoa, no! <laughs> As the car rises up. Holy cow. Turn the page. We'll fly over land. We'll fly over sea. Look out for those birds! Oh, no. Where did go? Okay, we'll fly over land, we'll fly over sea to Alaska, Nebraska, Bermuda, and Belize. Or take a vacation when things start to freeze and fly all the way down to the Florida Keys. That's pretty far. Look at all those pink flamingos. I think this car fussed them up. Well, you know, it's similar colors. Look at some of the pink on this car and some of the pink in the flamingos. I wonder if they thought it was a friend of theirs flying around in the sky. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, they're flying off to the Florida Keys. Just zipping now. I love it. Okay. Oh, they're back. My car will be cool. My car will be keen. My car will be one big, fantastic machine. The toast of the town, the cream of the crop, the bell of the ball, and the tip of the top. <laughs> I love all those. The tip of the top. That's hard to say. Tip of the top. Everybody's going, yay, look at that car. Woo! The car will be famous from here to Peru. Oh no, there's a little dog too. Can you see that little dog running away from the car down the street? Whoa! The car will be famous. Okay. If I built a car, that's just what I'd do. There's Jack smiling. There's the dog going, yeah, a cool car. And there's Dad going, I don't know. <laughs> Can do all those things. I built a car. That's just what I do. And there's Jack designing things in his bedroom at night when he gets some really good ideas. Whoa. And then here's another one of my favorite pages. I hope you can see this one. My Car by Jack. And it's got a wing slot where the wings come out. It's got a rocket engine. It's got a picture of it flying. It's got a center headlight <laughs> that turns with the wheels. Oh, it's got a telescope steering. Oh, a telescoping steering wheel. You know what I thought that was? I thought it was an actual telescope. Nope, it's just a steering wheel that comes out and goes back and it's got a little lamp inside this car has everything i think wow so there's a lot of great ideas on how to build a car in this book and i hope you enjoyed it so now we are going to do some drawing because i hope that you would like to draw your own car so i am going to turn the camera back to facetime and we're going to do some drawing together. Boy, when, when you start to think about drawing a whole car, it's kind of hard. You know, what, what shape is it going to be? I'm not sure. 
So we're going to do just some fun drawing exercises. And all you need is um, some paper and either markers or crayons. I got my markers today. And we're going to do some exercises just to get our drawing hands working really good. And what we're going to do is Mr. Tom is going to time us for 10 seconds. And the first drawing exercise that we're going to do is can you take your marker and you can scribble, you can draw just back and forth lines, cover as much of this page in 10 seconds. Get your arm working, loosen up all those drawing muscles. So here we go. Get your crayon, get your marker. And when Tom says go, we've got 10 seconds to fill the whole page. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready, Miss Ann? I'm ready. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. <laughs> I don't Half know if I can done. Do. Two, one, and time's up. Oh, <laughs> how'd you do? Did you get your arm working good? I almost did it. There's places that I didn't reach, and there's places that I missed there, but whoa, I did pretty good, I think. How did you do? <laughs> that was fun. You can try that again with a different color. It's kind of cool to just see how fast and how you can get your arm going. Okay, so there's exercise number one to get our drawing muscles going. So the second exercise that we're gonna do is circles. I'm gonna use a different color. I like blue. <laughs> and all you need is paper and crayons and take your paper. And when Tom says go, draw as many circles as you can on your piece of paper. So are you ready? 10 seconds. Okay, ready? Yep. On your mark, get yep. set, go. <laughs> this is harder. <laughs> My circles aren't very good. I'm not going to worry about how round they are. I'm just drawing okay. circles. Three, two, one, time's up. <laughs> that was fun. You want to see my circles? I'll hold them up. They didn't turn out so round. How did yours do? <laughs> I'm going to count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I got 19 circles. Not too shabby. All right. Well, that was fun. Let's see. Okay. So we have one more. <sighs> 10 seconds and we're gonna do lines. How many lines, how many straight lines can you draw in 10 seconds? I'm gonna do orange this time. So 10 seconds, straight lines. Ready? Time us, Tom. All right, on your mark, get set, go. One, two, straight lines. Oh, this is, this is easier than circles, I think. Three. <laughs> Two, oh, no. one, time's up. <laughs> Some of my lines aren't very straight. <laughs> but that was fun. I wonder how many I did. Ooh, it's hard to count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Man, I drew more circles. I can't believe it. <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting. I like that pattern. It almost looks like... Oh, you could turn it into something if you start to use your imagination. Whoa, all those lines to draw. Okay, so our last exercise is loops. And I am going to use green. 10 seconds and we're gonna do loops. Loops are just around and around and don't take your, um, your marker tip off the paper, just go loop and loop and loop and loop and don't pick up the marker tip, just keep it down on the paper and draw loops and loops and loops and loops for 10 seconds. Okay, so are you ready, Tom? I'm ready. 10 seconds. Loops. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. Uh oh. <laughs> My marker was dried out. I'm drawing loops. Not picking and up. Time's up. Oh, really? Are you serious? Oh, man, that was not very long. Ten seconds. There's my loops. 
Wow. <laughs> that was fun. I could do that for a lot longer. Well, you know, when I look at this and the loops that I drew, I can sort of see, um, use my imagination to make pictures out of those loops. And that's what this is all about. The Jack uses his imagination to build things to his car. And I just saw in my loops a face. So I'm going to make my coloring in my loops and then I'll show it to you. I have some eyes. And then I'm going to use a different color. And I saw a face in my loops. And part of drawing is using our imagination. So in my loops, by color in the design, I saw a face. Can you see two eyes and a mouth? <laughs> and if I sat here and, and played with this, I could probably find some more pictures inside. Oh, I think I can. I see a fish. I'm going to do a fish. Here's my fish, a smiley goldfish. OK. Oops. And oh, and you can use your imagination and turn your loops. Actually, it's a frowny goldfish, not smile. There we go. And there's my fish. I could add an eye. There we go. <laughs> so you can start to use your imagination with drawing exercises and drawing things just for fun. So we are going to draw a car together today. But before we do, I wanted to show you some, some pictures of cars that I found that were really unusual. And I, I put them together in a slideshow. So if Thomas can show us those slides, let's take a look at some crazy cars. Yeah, crazy cars. <laughs> People with imagination put some of these cars together. Let's see that first one. Is a kid. Oh, the Wienermobile. Yeah, that was in the book that when we were reading the book, Jack was looking at inspiration from the Wienermobile. It's actually a real car that they built to advertise Oscar Mayer hot dog wieners. Yay. But look at the lines on that. It looks just like a hot dog. I wonder what's inside. It would really, really be fun to ride in and see. All right, let's see the next one. Oh, <laughs> I love that one. Can you find the headlights on this one? Is it the eyes or is it farther down? Here, kitty kitty. Okay, let's see the next one. All oh, these are crazy designs. What? A car that looks like a telephone, an old style telephone. Oh man, and somebody's riding on the top of the roof. <laughs> That's funny too. Must be a parade or something. Okay, what's the next one? Who's, oh, a pig parade. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow, okay. It even has ears. Oh, now when I look at this one, I go, which? direction is this car actually going? I love the windows. Some of them are round, some of them are oval. You can look, I think maybe, maybe this car would go both ways. <laughs> All right, what we have next? Oh, this is from a movie I watched once. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> they were, um, I think they were dog clippers. <laughs> What, a whole car with furry fur all over it? That takes some imagination. Okay, what's next? Oh, yeah, food truck. <laughs> How about a food truck that actually looks like food? What do you think? Oh, I see purple onions and cheese and burger. What a good idea. <laughs> all right, next one. The bus mobile. This is an actual um, bus that somebody converted to their to live in and they drove up and down Route 66 back in the 70s. But it's really cool inside. I've seen it. And they've got bookshelves, kind of like Jack's fireplace and bookshelves in his car. There's all kinds of crazy things in this. And they've even got a little balcony on the back and back porch. <laughs> all right, what's next? Oh, the, now there's another bus. I wonder if you could actually tip it upside down and roll it upside down and right side up. What do you think? 
maybe it has some mechanism to tip it back over when some of the wheels get tired. Use the other ones on the other side. Want to go to school in this one? <laughs> I think it would be fun. All right, what's next? Oh yeah, a pool, a car with a pool in it. Staying cool. That might be good if you lived in a place that was hot all the time. How can they imagine that? All right, what's next? <laughs> Look what I can do. Yeah, maybe you're stuck in traffic and you want to see what's going on down the road a little farther. And you just use your scissors and your scissor lift and lift up high so you can see on down the road a little bit higher over the tops of the other cars that are stuck in traffic. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right, what else? Oh, Bigfoot. Yeah, a car that looks like a shoe. Who thought of that one? <laughs> Amazing. All right, and there's a little kid driving a car. Bye bye. And what will you think of? What kind of car would you like to draw and imagine? Well, I got some more paper, and I think um, we'll draw a car together before we go today. And I'm going to get my markers and my piece of paper. And I kind of don't know where to start, but the thing is, you can do just like the exercises that we did. Um, you can start to draw, and if you don't like it, get another piece of paper and do it again. Um, and, it, and it doesn't matter, you can just do it until you like it, and that's what drawing and imagining is all about. You just do it, and you don't worry about it, and, and you do it until you like it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is draw the shape of a car. So, you know, maybe I should put on my tabletop camera again for this one. I think that's a good idea. I will. So you can see what I'm drawing, but you don't have to draw what I draw. You can draw what you want to draw. So I'm first thing I'm going to do is kind of draw the shape of a car. So there's the front of my car, and there's where the people ride, and then it goes down the back. In the back of the car, well, I'm running out of paper. And then, okay, what do cars have? Well, probably wheels. So I'm going to do a wheel. Whoa. And then come up to where I think maybe the front wheel should be. And draw a wheel. Oops. And then down where the engine should be. And there. There's my car. So you could draw a shape like that or maybe you want your car to be faster so when i think of faster cars i think of like skinny so they're aerodynamic so the air can go whoosh and past them and not slow it down so i'm gonna make this car more aerodynamic skinnier okay so then maybe the place where the people ride isn't quite so high and sticking up and then it goes back down here so then the air could flow over the top of the car as it's going down the road really fast okay so then it comes to the end and then <laughs> let's see i don't know um of course maybe it's gonna have wheels again but maybe maybe i want more wheels what if i had oops <laughs> more wheels what I think I need more wheels. Okay, and then down to the front where, uh oh. <laughs> I wanted that to be more pointed. Maybe I'll draw that again sometime. But, you know, so there's two different car shapes. You can do any kind of car shape that you like. And I am going to go back to my first car shape because I'm looking at this and I'm going, mm, I don't have any windows. I can't see to drive. So, you can design what kind of windows you like. Jack designed a great big old bubble dome. And I just think I want a good window for somebody to look out the front to drive. And then, of course, I used to ride in the back seat with all my cousins, and we would fight for the window space. So I want a big, huge window space so we can all look out the back. And... So you can decide what you like about your car. So when you design something, you kind of think, what do I want this car to do? One of my favorite things is to look at the sky. 
at night. I love astronomy. So you know what I'm going to put on the top of my car? Can you guess? How about a telescope? <laughs> so my car is going to come equipped with the telescope that I can push a button and up comes the telescope. So I don't know if I can draw this. There we go. Okay, yeah. Telescope. So when I'm driving around at night, I can just push a button and up comes the telescope. And then I can get out of the car and look at the stars. And look at the sky with my automatic telescope. What would you like your car to do? Would you like your car to maybe? I'm going to change car shapes again. Maybe you want your car to fly. What would you do to this car if you wanted your car to fly? Do you want it to fly like a helicopter? Do you want it to fly like an airplane? Do you want it to fly like a rocket? Hmm. Well, let's see. How about a helicopter? So I'm going to put some helicopter blades on my car. There's a big blade. But it's up to you to decide what you want it to do. Very cool. So I'm going to switch back to my other car. Let's see. Hmm. What if I get hungry? I like the idea of the pop-up telescope. And sometimes when I get hungry, I like to eat toast. So how about a toaster that pops up out of the engine area? And there's the slats. Maybe I can do toast when I'm out there looking at the stars at night and I get hungry. So out of my car comes a pop-up toaster. Whoops, that's supposed to be bread. <laughs> that doesn't look like bread. Okay, well anyway, that's toasted. That one burnt, that one got burnt. Okay, so cool. <laughs> and you can decide what you want your wheels to look like. Maybe they're really fancy. Maybe they just look like wagon wheels. You can decide. So, and you know, we've been doing a lot of different things in drawing today. And so you can just keep on going with this. And you can draw a bunch of different designs and styles. And when you get a good one, you could enter the Toyota, the Toyota If I Built a Car contest. And Tom can tell you a little bit about that. But we're done with our drawing and our stories today. And we hope you had a great time. I'm coming back to the FaceTime camera. And we'll turn it over to Tom. There we go. Did you want to say a little bit about the Toyota um, car contest? The Great Lakes Children's Museum is partnering with Toyota and the Ann Arbor Hands-On Museum, and we have a contest for you. You can design your own car. All you have to do is draw it on any size piece of paper, at least eight and a half by 11, and you can submit that um, to find out where to go to submit that. All you got to do is go to greatlakeskids.org slash Toyota Dream Car Art Contest. It's on our blog right under the news. And uh, that contest is going to be going through January 28th. So we have until almost the end of the month in order to submit that. And the first prize is $750. And they're giving out three cash prizes. So you can draw whatever car you want and submit it. And you might win the contest. Pretty cool. Yeah. What kind of car will you build? <laughs> and hope you come up with something really fantastic. Have a great day. See us again next time on Storytime Adventure. seen before. And here's where you get to make a choice. Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? And I'm just gonna stick some pine cones in my box and um, then the fun starts. I just start rolling them around. The air 
rushing out of the balloon is going to push that balloon up. So let's see what happens. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. So that's how rockets kind of work. We are going to build two different kinds of rockets today. 